G'day everyone, my name is Chris Weinberg and I'm from Melbourne, Australia, a student at the University of Melbourne. On behalf of everyone here at the Collegiate Presidential Inaugural Conference, I would like everyone to thank the Reverend Jesse Jackson uh, for sharing his experiences and wisdom with us today. And it's clear we've seen why the Reverend has had such an influence on public life throughout the United States and around the world. If I had to summarise this speech in a word and the Reverend's message, it would have to be about passion. And I think that's one of the Reverend's greatest attributes, his unyielding passion uh, for the community, particularly for the youth, uh, his resilience in the face of adversity and his generosity. These are certainly great leadership qualities uh, that we can take forward from this conference as we head home uh, to our schools and our cities around this country and around the world. Furthermore, at this time, as we celebrate the life of Dr King, Reverend Jackson's words mean so much more to us. Uh, for me, clearly, his comments about what it means to be a young person and the responsibilities of our generation as we head into uncertain times meant a lot to me. Uh, and that theme about us being accountable and that we must act together if we are to uh, have any kind of future as, uh, uh, as prosperous as the ones that have come before us. Furthermore, the Reverend discussed uh, the role of civic responsibility uh, and the idea that we must all engage and we must all contribute uh, to the betterment of our fellow man and woman. And that idea about the power of words and ideas over anything else, and that if we have nothing else, at least we have our minds and our hearts to contribute to public debate. And I'm sure I speak for everyone that the togetherness of that moment where we, we joined in the Reverend uh, was quite something. I don't think we're ever going to forget that anytime soon. Furthermore, as the Reverend discussed how the United States has evolved from the era of slavery to the era of Dr King, uh, now to President Obama, we see how that quest for a more perfect union in the United States lives on and remains unfinished and it is the responsibility of us all uh, to ensure that that dream lives on through our words and our actions and ultimately in our service to others. So as we go forward from this conference with Renewed optimism and hope, I'd like us to all thank the Reverend once again for his inspiring words. <laughs>